Hey guys, how's it going? Groovy Love Squirrel Medicare. Uh. He has the backwood hat. That means it is hot. Ow. <laughs> uh, nope. No. <laughs> Everybody, how's it going? I'm Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic, and I don't know if you know this, but there has been a war, a battle of epic proportions that has been going on since the beginning of mankind. It is the famous chicken wing battle. Hot wings. What is better, drums or flats? Well, today we're going to take an objective look at it. And we're gonna try to finally decide who is the victor. Is it the drums or the flats? So let's get into it. Got some wings from Wingstop here. Look at those. Oh man, those are beautiful. Oh, so good. Cajun dry rub. I figured I didn't want something so saucy to wear we couldn't tell the difference. So we're going to differentiate between which one is better, objectively, objectively, between, ooh, still hot, drums or flats. So I think the first one that's fair, because we pay a lot of money for these wings, we need to look at which one has more meat. So we're going to take the meat off the bone and we're gonna put it in two piles. We're gonna see which one has more. Jeez, that's hot. Mm. Mm. So hot. All right, so let's get the meat off here. And of course, all the meat has to come off. Down to the bone. Should let these cool a little bit. I'm gonna get a fork, it's easier. Sorry about that, I was ill prepared for battle. So, getting all the meat off the drum. Let's make a pile. No, I'm not going as technical as saying measuring like on a way scale, but we can just do it off of visual. Yes, I know, you do not eat wings with a fork. I got it. I'm just doing this because it's so hot and I can't get all the meat off with my hands without burning myself. All right, so based off of the meat on it alone, I think it is safe to say the drum has more meat than the flat. So that is plus one for drum. Don't worry, I'm not letting these go to waste. I am going to eat these, just not right this second. It's a good thing I got napkins, because wings, are messy. All right, so let's talk about how to eat wings. Which one is more versatile? Which one can you take anywhere? So, for a drum, the drum is very simple. It is not difficult. I mean, I think the uh, old Geico commercial so easy a caveman can do it. I'm pretty sure they did. Not really chicken, maybe dinosaur chickens. I don't know. But it's very simple. All you do, bite into it. Oh my God. One single bone.
very easy to do. And you get the bonus. There is a tendon on there. It's chewy. I like to chew on those. And you also get the cartilage on the end. Now, for flats, I've done my research. There's many different ways to eat a flat. So first way I've seen people do is they break it apart and they take it off like that and then you just one bone Two bones. Man, it's a big one. Or what you can do is you stand up on its end. Which end? That's a good question. You stand up on its end, and all you do is just press down. It becomes kind of like a meat lollipop. And for all y'all that don't like the sound of people eating, this is not the video for you. Mmm, good piece of cartilage. And I know some people, I've tried before, I can't do it. But they will legit not push the meat down, none of that stuff, and they'll just put it in their mouth, and it comes out two bones. It's the ones we like to see. So, for ease of eating, I would have to say the drumstick is still the easiest because it's just one lung bone, no extra work. So, right now, drumsticks have a two to zero lead in my book. Again, this is all opinion, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a bunch of comments down below be like, you're wrong, or you didn't eat that right, or you suck at eating wings. That's fine. Now, messiness. I think messiness also goes with the, um, the amount of work it takes to actually eat a wing. With the drumstick, you may get some on your fingers, whatever you're using, and your lips. But with the um, the flats, it tends to make a bigger mess. You have to do a lot more work, get stuff all over your hands. And I know people are saying that I am judgmental because people have talked to me before and they know that I am a drums guy. But I'm just saying objectively, objectively, I'm saying that the drum is superior, way more superior than the flat. Now, I can't really attest to taste. Maybe there's a different taste. I don't taste much of a difference, but I guess that depends on how you cook it. But, to end the lifelong battle of drums versus flats, definitively, I can say, drums win the day. Do you disagree? Or to agree? I don't know. Comment down below and let's find out exactly what you think is the winner of this lifelong battle of mankind. And with that guys, that is our video for today. It is the challenge between drums and flats. Drums are the clear winner. So good luck out there and remember, keep up the good fight. Make sure to like, share, subscribe or comment or don't because we don't care. We just like making videos. Hopefully you enjoy it. But for me, Groovy Love Squirrel Medic, we will see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.